Dragons are real, and they've been trying to tell us this whole time. Don't you think what? Look, just to put it out there, I am not sure if I'm able to debunk this guy sober. Jesus Christ. Y'all mother is gonna love this one. Oh, joy! A common history tells us the most recent dinosaurs that roamed the Earth went extinct around 65 million years ago. Actually, it was 66 million years ago, not 65. It's amazing how we're not even a minute in and Philip already triggered my inner Google debunker. So, why do we see them in countless ancient drawings and artifacts just a couple thousand years old. Because we actually didn't, it was just misinterpreted as such. Also, you think you're slick with the hyperdiffusionism. He then goes on a long list of different cultural items from around the world that bears a strange resemblance to dinosaurs. For example, Taprom, the Akambaro figurines, and the Ica stones, just to name a few, which have either been misinterpreted or completely fabricated. Alright, look, archaeology isn't really my forte. But if someone without a degree can point this out, you're likely doing something wrong. However, as a paleo nerd, someone with the bare minimum of knowledge of paleontology, which I can talk about confidently, China's fossil dragon, Dinocephalosaurus orientalis, is in fact a tannisaur, related to tannistropias. In other words, it's not a dinosaur. I.e. dragons don't exist, they're mythological creatures. Now you see your average Philip Zima video lasts about 5 minutes. That's way too much misinformation in the span of 5 minutes. An archaeologist debunked this guy in 2 full movie length videos. Actually, I might have gotten off lucky here. Follow and subscribe to the Mini Minuteman, he makes great videos. The fact that I was able to cram at least 5 minutes worth of misinformation into a 2 minute debunk video is absolutely insane to me.